Here's a look at our tail of the tape. Brought to you by Geico. Sofiane Bukishu is two years older than Stuart Austin. Both men six feet, three inches tall. But a three inch reach advantage on the arms for Sofiane Bukishu. Andy Shepard, the heavyweights, please. The following contest is a heavyweight showcase bout. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet, three inches tall and weighed in officially at 239 pounds. He holds a professional record of nine wins and four defeats. Fighting out of Nice, France, El Toro, Sofiane Bukishu. And his opponent in the red corner. He is a judo specialist and stands six feet, three inches tall. He went in officially at 246 pounds and has amassed a professional record of 15 wins and eight defeats. Fighting out of London, England, Stuart Heeman. Your referee in charge, Gary Copeland. Gary Copeland, very likely the strongest man inside of our Rock smart cage, even blue. with the heavyweights. Red, red. <laughs> Fight. Overseeing the action here, touch of the gloves. Stuart Austin in the blue trunk, Sofia and Bukishu in the gray. Stuart Austin put a lot of pressure on himself coming into this fight. Wants to not only win, but win impressively and get the finish here in his hometown. The Stewart chance starting early in this fight, and it's Bukishu who closes the distance and goes chest to chest with the judo specialist. See if you can use those double underhooks, Stuart Austin, to find a way and put Bukashu on the ground. There's a nice job of trading places with him. Little trip. Nice misdirection. Started him one way, came in with the hips and caught him going the other way. Yeah, beautiful takedown right into side control now. Has good head position here. A little tied up against the cage there, but if he can free his right arm, he's in a good position to hit some ground and pound. Good risk control defensively for Sofia Mbukishu for now. I mentioned that the freshman is a former middleweight champion at 6'3 and 240 odd pounds. I have to assume that he was a middleweight when he was about 13 years old. <laughs> Stuart Austin now has that gift wrap. He's got that wrist with his right arm. And he's going to look to try to unload with his left hand. Yeah, he needs to go to work. I Bukic is doing a good job of tying those hands up. Not able to get that hand free, even though he's got the seatbelt on the bottom side there. He lost the seatbelt. He could slide right in the mount here. There's Larissa Pacheco, women's lightweight semifinalist on a four fight knockout streak. Not just a win streak, a knockout streak. She'll take on Elena Kaleshnik later on on our main card on ESPN and ESPN Plus. Inside the cage now, Stuart Austin climbing onto the back of Sofian Bukishu. Round one halfway gone. This is not where Pugashu wants to be, Randy, but you got to credit the Frenchman. He hasn't let Stuart Austin really mount any significant offense despite being in an advantageous position for two minutes. Yeah, Pugashu's done a great job of hand fighting here, getting out of some situations, and then not letting Stuart Austin really get into, in, into any deep water or deep trouble. I also think Stuart Austin is kind of hesitating a little bit. I think he's overanalyzing a little bit, needs to keep it more simple. He could have mounted way earlier. Bukashu's got the Kimura grip on Stuart Austin's left arm. 
Likely looking to use that to sweep, but that knee pin will help extricate. And there's the left hand from Stewart Austin. 90 seconds remain in the first round. Is she finding his way back to his feet now? Arm over to the wizard position is Bukashu now. Dan Hardy, you were familiar with Stuart Austin's mixed martial arts career. Is he hesitating the way Kenny Florin suggested? You know, I think he's playing a very smart game. Of course, he's coming off a couple of stoppages because he likes to fight, he likes to get involved. But this is a far smarter game plan with someone like Sofran Bukachu, who is very good on the ground as well as on the feet. But this, this game plan by, by Austin to slow him down and ground him and maybe break his confidence a little bit in this first round, you've also got to bear in mind this is Bukachu's PFL debut. So, you know, this is a new territory for him. And he's clapped on, clapped on this Kimura now. Left arm's in trouble here for Stuart Austin. He's going to have to figure out how to get the control of that thing back. Watch him switch the arm ball. Oh, let it go. That position here. Here's Bukashu from the mount to the back. I thought Bukashu was going to step over his head to the armbar there for a second, but he completely let it go. Some blood, blood coming from the right eyebrow, it looks like, of Sofia and Bukashu. I wonder if there was maybe a clash of heads there as they traded positions. Final three, four seconds of the round are right hands from Sofia and Bukashu. <laughs> Round two, five more minutes at Round least. Two, ready, well, Round five two, more ready, minutes ready. proposed Fight. in heavyweight showcase action. <laughs> Left hook lands for Sophie and Bukishu. He's able to move out of the way of the counter strike. There's another left. And Bukashu really fighting with a lot more confidence due to the end of that last round there. Got Austin on the back foot. And now Stewart comes forward. Bukashu with the forward pressure. Austin trying to play the counter puncher. Letting Bukashu try and pick at him and trying to counter punch off of that aggression. A little slip and rip for Austin. Bukashu laughs it off and ate a left hand for his hesitation. Sophie and Bukashu feeling himself here with the eyes wide open. There's a right hand from Stuart Austin. Double underhooks again by Stuart Austin. Clears the position, but stays in striking range. School there with the toe stomp. Yeah. <laughs> Austin trying to get head control there, just kind of chipping away. Look at you battling much better in this clinch position now. Kenny, you mentioned the, the pressure that Stuart Austin has put on himself in this fight. Nifty back fist for Bukishu, who missed on the first attempt at the uppercut, trying another takedown here. Yeah, you know, Stuart felt like, hey, this is a guy that I should be able to finish. You know? And if I can't finish, you know, it might be over for me. Um, he's been a little hesitant here, in my opinion. He's starting to put some more pressure on Bukishu here. Unable to turn that into a positive position on the ground. It seems like he might be fading a little bit too, too here with those punches. Stuart Austin punching his way into the double leg. Does he have the horsepower and the gas now to lock his hands and pull those hips out of Bukashu? Changes to the single leg. Sofiane has gone for the same defense three times now with that Kimura grip, and he'll try at least one more. Stewart 
Staying heavy on the head. Right hand goes to work. Stuart Austin reaches for the far ankle, trying to pull the hips of Sofia Mbukishu off the smart cage barrier and secure this takedown completely. Yeah, I'd like to see if he transitions to the back here. Bukishu doing a good job of getting his back to the fence, but Stuart Austin driving with that shoulder, exposing the back of Bukishu here. Bukishu sits right back down. We'll take a look at our Cronus fight tracker for this heavyweight affair. You can see a lot of the fight has happened up against the smart cage barrier. Bukishu once again trying to isolate and pull the left arm of Stuart Austin out and behind his back. Bukishu trying to get that Kimura again. Stuart Austin trying to be careful, trying to keep that arm tight into his torso. Tough to finish it from the bottom, but you can certainly sweep with it. Which is what he did in the first round. He was able to use that as a sweep to change positions. I think he could sweep now if he would pull his own leg out. He lets go of that Kimura grip. Approaching the end of the second round here. Ten second clapper to come. Stuart Austin on top of Sofian Bukishu. And he'll finish the round here with a couple of right hands to the body. Clean break, guys. Clean break. Third Clean. final round. You ready, Blue? Third final round. Ready, Red? Fight. About three quarters of that first round was controlled by Stuart Austin, but Bukishu came back strong for the last quarter of that round. The second round was clearly Stuart Austin, the most to control there. Really how the judges scored that first round determined what needs to happen in this third round. I think Bukashu has to really make something happen here. You see, not a stellar score for either fighter in the fighter performance rating in that second round. Once again, Stuart Austin circling near the smart cage, retreating and looking to counter strike. Sofiane Bukashu comes with a right hand. And a second. Austin shrugs it off. Austin's got to be careful with that back fist that Bukashu is finishing his combinations with. Very unorthodox shot. Hard to see coming. Now some confidence in the strike from Stuart Austin. Leaps in behind the right hand. Yeah, he's doing much better when he's pressing forward, setting things up with his jab, not throwing himself off balance. Here's a nice single leg position for him. And again, Bukashu trying to counter with that Kimura position. Austin with both legs captured now to get the gas gas tank and the horsepower to pull those legs out. There he goes. Austin trapped both those feet now. And again, this is a, this is a position where Stewart could have kind of wiggled his way into mount. Bukashu able to get his legs into close guard. He's got good head position here. This is where he really needs to bring the pressure. <laughs> nice left hands from the top position there for Stuart Austin. Stuart Austin did a nice job of shelving that leg. Bringing his leg up and shelving that leg, it makes it difficult yeah. for Bukashu to find a way to use that fence and get some elevation to walk himself back up. Now Stuart Austin putting some mustard on these left hands. Yeah, definitely. Feels way more confident with his position. He's trapping that wrist now. I'd like to see him posture up so he can get more power on his shots, but doing a good job of really controlling Bukashu here. Now the onus really is on Bukashu to try to make something happen, get back to his feet or attack some kind of submission, which can be very difficult when you have that cage right behind your head.
This is the best work from Stuart Austin that we've seen inside the PFL Smart Cage. Coming in the third round, may it be a decisive round, depending on how the judges scored the first. Stuart Austin looking to leave no doubt. See if he can secure a finish here against Sophie and Bukishu, the Frenchman in Buk front of the London crowd. Bukishu doing a good job of using that knee shield to create some space. He does expose his back as he tries to get back to his feet, though. Stuart Austin has that gift wrap on that far side. You see that right hand trapping the wrist of Bukishu. Letting Bukushu carry his weight. This is going to be very draining for the guy on bottom. Demoralizing, too, when you get almost to your feet and get yeah, pushed right back down there. One-time judo specialist in his own right, Austin transitioned to mixed martial arts. He's had a successful career, mostly over here in Great Britain. As we mentioned at the top of this fight, looking to bounce back from two tough losses inside the PFL Smart Cage, and looks well on his way to doing so. Right hand goes to work for the final 10 seconds of this fight. Little pop from the crowd for the efforts. Clean break, and there's the Clean final break. bell. Stuart Austin finishes on top. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge David Leatherby scores about 29-28. Bukichi. Judge Ben Carter scores about 29-28. Austin. And Judge Mark Collett scores about 30-27 in favor of your winner via split decision, Stuart Austin.